In this video, I'm going to show you all the different ways you can use a Surface Pen and OneNote to take better notes. So as long as you have a Surface device, a Surface Pen and OneNote installed on your computer, these tips are going to work for you. But first, shout out to Alex for letting me know in a previous video how dirty my screen was. So let's start this off by giving it a quick clean. much better. So the first thing we're going to do is select on the add page section in OneNote. I'm using OneNote for desktop, not OneNote for Windows 10, but a lot of these tips are going to work for you irrespective of what version of OneNote you're using. I'm going to simply select on add page to open a brand new blank page. The first thing I always do on a blank page is go over to the draw tab. And from here you can see you have your lasso and your, your pens and things like that. But the first thing I always do is actually select on the format background option. I drop this down and this allows me to add ruled lines or grids to my page. So when you're writing, it's nice to have ruled lines because it helps you keep a straight line. And then of course I drop it down again and then I change the page color because the white bright page is actually quite harsh on my eyes and I add just a bit of a color to it so that you can pick whatever color you like, uh, but this just helps reduce some of that strain on your eyes. And there's a new option now that you can even go into the ruled line option and you can actually change the color of the ruled lines here as well. So I think that's kind of cool. And there is, if you're only using your OneNote and pen for taking handwritten notes, you can select on the option of always create pages with ruled lines. So if you select this, every page you have is gonna always have, you can see I've just made a few new pages there, always gonna open with brand new lines. So really cool, of course, if you go vertically or horizontally on your page, it's just gonna work for you. It's gonna trans form those lines. So no matter what way you're using your device, it's just gonna work. The next thing I'll do is actually go over and select the different pens that I use. So you can choose, if you double click on any pen, is the thickness and of course the color options. I usually stick with the standard black um, for when I'm just quickly taking notes, but if I really want to remember something, I will change the color because when you write in a different color, it does actually retain in your memory better. Um, you can adjust the thickness here. I'll make it that little bit thicker and then I'll just start writing. And you can just start writing away. One thing you do want to note with the Surface Pen is that the back of it actually works as an eraser. So you can go ahead and rub everything out. And then of course it's pressure sensitive as well. So if you press lighter or harder, more and less ink is gonna come out on the page, then you can use the back of the pen as an eraser as well. If you've drawn and written something on here, there's the button here called the lasso. And you can also select it here in the selection section of the draw tab. But if you just press on the lasso when you've got a pen selected, instead of drawing like it does right there, you can press and hold the lasso and this is gonna allow you to select and then move things around. So you can move it around, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. And if it was actually something that was written instead of just messy scribbles. So if I say, hey, I press the lasso, circle around it, and then I go in the option of ink to text it will convert that ink into text. The reason this one had an issue there is that, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I actually had a tiny little indent at the top here as well. So it's trying to get that ink to text and it's gonna convert it into editable text. Really quite cool. From here, you can then press and select on the lasso and then you can move this around. You can press and hold to bring up the right click menu and you can uh, cut, copy, paste, whatever you need to do. I'm gonna cut that for now one tip I will give you is that at the top here, where it actually shows the date and the time that your page was created, I'm just gonna pinch and zoom in, and I'm just gonna write YouTube. And what you'll notice is if you give it a few seconds, you've added a title to your page here. So then down the bottom here under Untitled Page, once it syncs back up over here, instead of being called Untitled Page, it will convert that into saying YouTube. If you wanted to draw shapes, you have two different ways of drawing shapes and it's a really great way of um, you know, drawing and ideating things out. I use OneNote a lot to get my ideas out. I'm just gonna jump to a different page here to show you what that looked like. Uh, so here I'm writing in a different script. So I was just like, what are all the different things I wanna talk about? And I'll quickly just jot everything down. I'm just gonna jump back to that page right now. 
and of course the demo gods are not uh, converting the title here into YouTube but that's okay um, so when you are wanting to ideate things and actually write and draw and have images on here you can use the option of shapes so you can pull in some pre-formatted shapes these are okay but I'm going to press and hold again and cut what I prefer to do is turn on the option of automatic shapes so this means that I can be drawing my own shapes and it's going to convert those shapes for me into the object that I'm drawing it makes it really easy you don't break your flow having to press the shape find the shape you're after and then writing and drawing it in you simply just use the pen again I'm going to press and hold go cut having automates automatic shapes turned on means that I can just draw a circle and then of course mind map around it the straight line doesn't work but that's where the next tip comes in which is where you're going to use your ruler it is extremely hard to draw a straight line but with the ruler tab in OneNote it just makes it so easy to write and draw away so I'm going to grab our circle here I'm going to bring it into the center of the page and of course OneNote is an infinite page so you can zoom out as much as you need to I'm going to bring this into the center and then this could be a mind map of video ideas and then I'm going to grab the ruler and I'm just going to grab a different color pen this galaxy one is really cool and then you can see here I'm just drawing two fingers to move it around I'm drawing perfect really straight lines which just makes me and you have the degree in the center so you know when it's at 0 and 90 degrees uh, it just makes it so much easier to draw straight lines when you are mind mapping things out um, so that's really quite cool again I'm just going to select all of this the reason I keep deleting it is because I just want to show you guys what I'm working with but I don't need to keep everything on here um, but one really cool thing is an option called ink replay so what ink replay does is it actually records the strokes that you've written and that you've drawn and then you can play it back this is fantastic for if you're drawing anything out especially mathematics uh, and it shows you how you worked worked out the answer so if I select say let's actually go red one plus three equals four very simple I know but if I select on this again with the lasso by pressing on that button and I select ink replay I can re-watch how I got to that answer so if this was a much more complicated equation or even if it was a drawing you wanted to you know draw something and show someone how to draw a little picture you can actually do your ink replay Uh, let's turn off automatic shapes there so I can get a better smiley face uh, let's add some ears Whoop, this guy's a bit chubby that's okay I'm gonna circle around it let's give him some hair first cool uh, let's move him away from that four and then I'm just gonna go ink replay and then we can rewatch how this guy was drawn so it's really quite cool right uh, let me know if you do like this feature in the comment section down below. Uh, there is the option up here where you can just expand the page and this gives you the full page but I like this option because it gets rid of the distractions up the top but it still keeps a lot of your core items here which are of course your pens, your rubber, your undo slash redo option and then of course if you select on the pen icon here you can choose to hide or bring that back up and if you select on the no that's actually new I like that it allows it to easy uh, to move things around but if you select on the two arrows here it brings you back to your normal view but let's expand that one more time because along with your pens and your eraser you do have the option of adding highlighters and I'll show you what this is really powerful for as well uh, because we're going to import a word document into OneNote so I'm simply going to select on normal view and then I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to go insert so this is basically one of the only times I'll move out of the draw tab when I'm taking notes but I'll go insert and I'm going to actually choose a file printout this is going to allow me to insert files like word documents as a printout my OneNote page so everything stays on here so if I select form which is something I prepared earlier 
So to do that, all I did was hit file, and then I just selected a document and pulled it in. And you can see here that I've inserted the document here, and it shows me where that document is. But if I zoom in now, I can actually go ahead and start marking up and annotating all over this Word document. So I can go on the draw section, grab my highlighter. When I was in university, I went through hundreds of pages throughout my degree because I'd always print things out. With OneNote, I'd actually be able to grab the pen, grab my ruler, and then just highlight. Of course, we can make that a little bit thinner in terms of thickness. We can change the color of it. Uh, and then I can go ahead and highlight everything that's important to me. Uh, and that allows me to keep it within my OneNote page. And then of course, because OneNote is that infinite canvas, I can grab my pen, any color pen, and actually say, you know, change this, whatever it may be. But this allows me to keep everything together with my notes in OneNote on the one page. I can scroll down, you see this is a multiple page document. Uh, it even puts in images in here. And then you can go ahead and maybe you can talk about the kind of, you know, fish this is or whatever it is. Um, so that is really quite cool. You just go insert and then you add a file printout and that allows you to annotate and mark up all over Word documents that you just import straight into OneNote. Of course, if you annotate them on here, it doesn't affect the Word document itself, but this is a great way of taking notes and scribbling things down while you are studying. Another awesome feature is actually the screen clippings because you might be taking notes but have a internet page behind or program behind that you want to grab a sneak, uh, screenshot from. And instead of having to open up a screenshot tool and grab it, we can simply select on the screen snipping tool to get a minimize OneNote. It's going to show you whatever page was behind OneNote. And then we can just grab a quick screen snip and then drop that into OneNote. So this is a pretty poor example, but you know, this is a screen clip it told me when it was taken. And then I can again, annotate and mark up all over it. So it's really easy to use this to pull information from behind the screen as well as Word documents. In the draw tab, of course, you can go ahead and make all these annotations and changes. And one really cool feature as well in the draw tab is this option of ink to maths. Uh, I'm not sure how many people use this tool. I don't use it all that much, but if you are studying mathematics, it is amazing. This allows you to convert. Let's pull up another equation. If we select on this here with our lasso, our magic button, we go ink to math. It's going to ask us if that is correct. It's going to pull up the ink equation tool. If it is correct, we can go insert. If it's not correct, we can go select and correct. And we can actually say the plus is not right. It is actually, if there's, it gives you a few options. If none of these are correct, we can choose to just erase that, rewrite the plus, and then go insert. And now that's going to convert your equations into typed equations. So it's amazing because it, trying to write equations with the keyboard and mouse is extremely hard. If you want to get more granular with this, when you are on the mathematics tool, you get the equation tab in the top here. And this gives you so many different formulas and ways of writing equations. I'm not going to pretend to know what these are, but if you use OneNote for mathematics, this is a phenomenal tool. So there you have it. Those are some amazing ways of using the Surface Pen and OneNote to take even better notes. Let me know what your favorite tip was in the comment section down below. And of course, if you did like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're not supercharged the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.